Darshana Javeri, the youngest of the four Javeri sisters, is a leading Indian exponent of Manipuri dance, an Indian classical dance form. She is a disciple of Guru Bipin Singh and started performing on stage in 1958 along with her sisters. She is one of the founders of the Manipuri Nartanalaya in 1972, which popularized Manipuri dance in India and is currently headed by her with centers at Mumbai, Kolkata and Imphal. Darshanaji was born and brought up in Mumbai in a Gujarati household. At the age of six, she saw her elder sisters, Diana and Ranjana, learn Manipuri dance from Guru Bipin Singh at their home. Soon, she too started learning the dance form along with her sister, Suvarna. Later, she learned the traditional Ras Leela dances from Sutradhari Shetri Tombi Devi, the Natapung from Guru Mete Tomba Singh, and traditional Maibi Jagoi from Kumar Maibi. Over the years, Dashraji has published several books and articles on the dance and has assisted her guru during his lifetime in teaching, research, as well as in choreography before taking on the mantle herself. According to noted dance critic Sunil Kotari, they are responsible for bringing the temple tradition of Manipuri dance to the cities. Darshana Javeri received the Gujarat Sangeet Natak Academy Award, Gaurav Puraskar, the Central Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 1996, and was honored with the Padma Shri in 2002, and more recently, the Kalidas Samman Award in 2018. Dashaji, Namaste, and welcome to Pratibhim. Reflections of an Artist. The whole idea is to create an archive of all the wonderful artists who have dedicated their lives in performing arts and visual arts. And I've been wanting to create this so that the present generation and also the generation to come get to see the kind of work that you people have done. And that is why as an initiative of JG College of Performing Arts, I took up this whole project of creating Pratibhim, Reflections of an Artist. And thank you very much for agreeing to be part of that. This is our fifth episode and it is so wonderful to have you here today. I remember it was in 1997 when I organized a marathon program. Uh, basically, it was a protest against human rights violation. And I had started off contacting a lot of artists of various fields, painters, sculptors, uh, musicians, singers, dancers, theater personalities, authors, writers, and asked all of them to come together as a protest against human rights violation. And this program I was organizing at the Gujarati Sahitya Parishad and at that time, I sent out letters to a lot of senior artists from across India and also abroad. And you were the first to reply back to me, sending a wonderful message at that time. And I also remember that you're the only artist who called me after the program got over and asked me how it went. So it is from then, from 1997, that I have been in touch with you. And it has been a wonderful uh, journey, in fact, meeting you, knowing you. And whenever you've come to Ahmedabad, you made it a point to get in touch with all of us and be in touch with us. Thank you very much for this wonderful, wonderful friendship. You have, along with your sisters, taken the name of Manipuri dance across the globe and you are synonymous to Manipuri dance, the Javeri sisters. You hail from a Gujarati household and at the time when you were initiated into dance, it was not a very favored field. Yet your parents let all four of you to pursue an art form that was totally, totally alien to your custom, to your culture. Can you please talk a little about your parents and how you chose Manipuri dance? 
नमस्कार आई एम वेरी मच ग्रेटफुल टू श्री बीजय श्री ग्राम टू हिमसेल्फ एज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड नॉट एज अ भरतनाट्यम डांसर टीचर एंड कोरियोग्राफर टू हैव इन्वाइटेड मी फॉर प्रतिबिंब रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ एन आर्टिस्ट सीरीज ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ जे जी कॉलेज ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स इन अंदर my dance journey in manipuri dance style has been quite long for over 60 years i feel fortunate to have been born in gujarati cultured family where our parents had broad mind they were art lovers and they gave opportunity to all the children my sisters and my brother to pursue and learn any form of art during 40s when i was born it was the age of revivalism when mahatma gandhi inspired the young generation to revive our ancient indian culture as well as gurudev rabindranath tagore he brought all the art forms on a higher pedestal so that the good girls the boys of good family society they started learning dance and music to study in neera school where our principal she mt vyas was a very progressive minded and broad minded and far sighted who gave us opportunity to have values and knowledge of different art forms he used to invite rukmini devi as well as pandit omkar narji and shri ravi shankar maharaj the social worker my parents they were very close to mr vyas the principal hence he also got connected with the school guests and he invited them rupini ji and omkana uh, ji to our house so that we could show our dance form my parents were very much interested in other art forms like literature and so so many writers and poets like uma shankar joshi or niranjan bhagat or priya kanmaniar also and uh, then painters like uh, sri habbar or almekar or shavak chawda then musicians like of course but only kanna ji then he had raju so like that so many dancers musicians used to visit our house so we we grew in the atmosphere of dance and music i always say that it is always wonderful when parents support the ideas and the aspirations of the children and your parents supported all four of you and stood by you and it is such a wonderful feeling when parents are part of your life and supporting you how wonderful dashna ben who are your gurus and what was the regime what was the kind of schedule of learning that you had at that time at that time when gujarati dance dramas were being presented at your level and gujarati boys and girls they used to go to shantini ketan to learn manipuri and also kathakali and after coming back to bombay they used to uh, take part in this dance dramas during that time in 1943 guru bipin singh he came to bombay and he directed the manipuri portion of the dance drama called chauda devi written by Shri K. M. Munshi of Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. At that time, my two elder sisters, Naina 
and Ranjana, they came in contact for the first time uh, with Jyotir uh, Singh and Laina was uh, made heroine of the dance drama and hence we started um, uh, uh, taking part in other dance dramas also like uh, Mirabai and uh, Amrapali, Narsanyo where in all these dance dramas Naina used to be uh, the heroine. Hence, Guruji came in contact with us and he started coming to our house to teach Naina and Ranjana. The Gujarati boys and girls were taking part in these dance dramas and that was on amateur level and but not as career. For us it was different thing because we had started learning Manipuri from Guru Vipin Singh. First of course two, uh, two sisters, elder sisters Naina and Ranjana and then Suvarna and myself I am the youngest. We too emulated our sisters. Hence we started learning and performing also on stage seriously. We four sisters thought that Guru Vipin Singh was the right guru for us as his way of teaching, his scholarly attitude, his knowledge and creative ability. He also thought that these four sisters had that natural grace required for Manipuri and also he thought that our body, our attitude, our psyche is for Manipuri which is very devotional, graceful and lyrical. Hence, since then we started our work in learning as well as doing research work, practicing, choreography, doing theory. Continuously for 50 years we learn, study, work together with Guru Bipin Singh. And this, all this work started in Mumbai where it was like a Gurukul system. I remember Guruji used to come in the morning at 7 o'clock and Shastriji was also used to come. He used to sit and study the Vaishnavite Shastras or ancient Indian texts or dance and music. Then learning, practicing, Rehearsing for four to six hours, doing theory work, learning drum also, bones, writing. And it was the whole day we used to devote our time for dancing. So, from the beginning, our dance activity has been the research oriented. Guru Vipin Singh was giving us all knowledge of uh, Manipur the traditional dances of Ras Lila and Sankirtan. But since 1960, I started going to Manipur with Guruji for research, for studying different forms of Manipur from eminent gurus of Kong Cholam, the drum dance, Karta Cholam, dance with the big symbols, then Ras dances, then traditional dances of my weeks, the priestesses. Then I used to meet the uh, old pandits of Maitai Puranas, also the Vaishnavite Sangeet Shastras. And there in Manipur, there also, whole day, used to go in meeting gurus and learning, studying, discussing. Later on, of course, teaching the students also. So it was. The whole time used to be in uh, dance and music. Of course, in Manipur I saw that in Sankirtan, the drum dance and Kartal Cholam, the cymbal dance, the gurus used to teach the students at their home only. It was like a gurukul system. And it was very hard training for the uh, Cholam, the dancers learning to play drum or the uh, dancing with the drum or dancing with the tartal. So it was very hard 
disciplined training for Ras dances. It was not that hard because the Ras Daris, the Ras Gurus used to teach the girls whenever the Ras Leela used to come, the girls used to uh, learn the dances which are supposed to be performed in that particular Ras Leela for six months and of course daily. So that was the uh, system in Manipu for learning. I had opportunity to learn in Bombay for hours together in learning and doing work for dance. The Javeri sisters, Naina, Ranjana, Suvarna and Dashana are synonym to the dance form Manipuri. You have popularized this art form all over India and abroad. You were the first non-Manipuris to perform these dances at the Govindji temple inside the royal palace of Imphal. Can you please talk a little about that wonderful experience? We did all activities related to Manipuri dancing since 1950. In 51, we produced dance drama called Usha, in which Guruji utilized all the different dance forms of Manipur like Pung Cholong, Kartal Cholong, Aftal Kitan, then Lai Haroba, Thangta, that is sword and spear dance, as well as Ras dances. And we invited the drum dancers from Manipur to take part in this dance drama. In 1954, again we produced Rajnartaki, story of Amrakani. In that also, we utilized all the dance forms of Manipur. This was of course dance dramas, but Guruji was teaching us the traditional five Bhangi Parings which are must for any Manipuri dance student. We learned all the five Bhangi Parings in Bombay and then Guruji took us to Manipur to present before three main Gurus of Ras Gurus like uh, Guru Amudi Singh, Guru Atomba Singh and Guru Amudam Sharma. They led us in 1956. Then after coming back, we were continuing our work. In 1958, Again, Guruji took us to Manipur and we were so fortunate that we arranged our program in the Govindi Palace Temple where we dedicate our dance in front of deities of Shri Govindi and in front of the devotees in the uh, Palace Temple. It was such a divine and wonderful experience for us to dance and when Guruji was playing the drum and 
people were also appreciate and uh, that I think that that was the time where uh, I, I personally feel that Govindji blessed us so much that since then our career as performer, Manipuri dance, dancers, it started from that day and till today more than 60 years I have been dancing. So it's, it's such a blessing of Sri Sri Govindji on us, on the two sisters. See, after performing there, we performed in other theatres in Infal in Manipur and then we went to Tachar where Manipuri ladies are there in the temples we performed and there also we have, when we were performing all these compositions, the people, the devotees, they used to come, get up from the audience and come to Guruji and lay prostrate before Guruji and we stay cry, shed tears and uh, used to present Guruji the cloth. So it, it was such a wonderful experience for us and then we started performing in Lower to Shilong and then all over India and all over the world. We uh, did so many tours privately as well as under government cultural delegations. We uh, used to uh, take part in different conferences, different festivals, we lecture demonstrations, TV, radio programs, interviews, writing articles in magazines or in books, and presenting in productions, dance dramas. In Bombay, doing creative productions, we used to compose in Bombay and uh, used to invite artists from Manipur. We invited him to create gurus from Manipur to record the oral tradition. So, this research work was also going on. We were really fortunate. Till 72, we were performing together. Then, from 72 onwards, we shifted our activities to culture. Wow, it must have been a wonderful experience because in that place, in that wonderful, very uh, pious a place you had the opportunity to perform in front of these gurus and also the people of Imphal and being a non Manipuri to get a chance like this to perform there what a wonderful thing to do you founded Manipuri Nartanalaya in 1972 that is almost five decades ago what is the kind of interest that you see the level of interest uh, how do the students today how interested and what is the kind of dedication that they have for the form of dance Manipuri today? In 1972, in order to channelize our manifold activities in the field of Manipuri dancing, Guru Vipin Singh, in collaboration with Javeri Sisters and Kalavati Devi, founded Manipuri Nartanalaya in Calcutta, over and above Mumbai and Manipur. In Calcutta, many students, young students, used to come for learning seriously Manipuri dance in order to become good performers, teachers and research scholars. We used to send these girls for teaching in different parts of India and in different institutions such as in Manasali Vidya Pit or in Patna or Ahmedabad. At present, the main two Karanas are prevalent in Manipur such as Guru Amudhi Singh and Guru Vipin Singh. Even many boys and girls have started institution and performing and propagating Manipuri dance in India and abroad. So I feel that young generation has been taking good interest in following Guru Vipin Singh's Karana and of course the other Manipuri, uh, many students are there who are following Guru Amudhi Singh's Karana. 
looking abroad, we find the girls who are born there, they really value our dance styles and they have that serious attitude also, maybe because it's new for them, enthusiasm to learn new things and they feel that it is difficult to get to learn these such styles. So they really value and in foreign countries, the, their life is so hard and uh, they are independent. They have to do everything by themselves. They have to work hard to achieve anything in life. That's why when they get opportunity to learn this beautiful art form, they really work hard and are serious. And they show their keen interest also. In India, <laughs> when we see the children here, they, they have everything easy to learn, the, the life is also simple, simple, is dependent on others and that's why they don't have that much value to learn our art forms. Of course, there are many, they are working also hard and uh, seriously also. Those who have already learned Manipuri dance and have gone to foreign countries and settled there, they are very particular and they are very hard working to popularize our classical art forms in foreign countries. I will always talk about the wonderful young generation of today because I am many times amazed at the kind of talent that they have. Some of them are so dedicated. Some of them work so hard to come forward. So we cannot really write off this younger generation. They're also doing a wonderful job. But I think what is very important is to have wonderful gurus, the right gurus like you and your generation. And also, of course, in the next generation, the right people to guide them and take them along the path of Indian culture and classical dance. Does the language and the technique have anything to do with the lack of interest of students from the western part of India? Because uh, Manipuri coming from the Far East and normally you see that uh, a lot of dancers are interested in Kathak and uh, Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi and so on. So when you have been having these three institutions uh, in Mumbai, in Kolkata and in Fal. Does the language and the technique have anything to do with the lack of interest? Yes, language to a certain extent is important in creating more interest in the students in Manipuri dance. Traditionally, we have Padavali language, the lyrics of devotional poets in Padavali language, that is Old Bengali, Sanskrit, Brajbuli, Brajbhasha, Maitheli, in Hindi, Old Hindi. Hence, the students were finding it very easy to follow these languages are in uh, Indo-European group. So, students really found, found easy to uh, understand the language and do Abhinaya more effectively. Recently, during last 30-40 years, in Manipur, the only language which they are using is Maitel language, the Manipuri language. Hence, nowadays, students have to understand this language which is which falls in the Tibeto Burman group and students are finding it different. So they have to first understand the meaning of the words and then we can understand and dance 
with the Manipuri songs. Very true. When we uh, teach Bharatanatya, we are also and many times the language is either Tamil or Telugu or Kannada then uh, a lot of uh, students they ask if they could do something in their own mother tongue you know and and that is why you see a lot of padams and uh, kirtanams and stuff like that even today varnams are converted into uh, the Gujarati language and people perform on that so always, of course, the mother tongue plays a very important part, but it is also important to retain and sustain the, the original language of the form of uh, classical dance from where it hails and it originated because it gives you the best flavor uh, when you do it in that language. Dashnaji, you had the opportunity to travel with your sisters like, I mean, you're a family, but like you said, uh, they're also, they were very, very uh, close to you and like friends to you. Do you recall any special moment that uh, you had while you were traveling, all of you together at some particular place or time? I remember in 1963, the four sisters, along with two Manipuri girls and two musicians, we had gone for a long tour of more than two months in Europe. It was a wonderful experience. We travelled first in Germany, West Germany for one month daily performances and daily travelling in different cities. Then we went to Belgium, Switzerland, France and Italy. In Italy, when we reached Rome, was a shock to us that President Kennedy was shot down. Hence, there was seven days mourning in Italy. They could not perform immediately in Rome. For seven days, my elder sister Naina, along with other three artists, they stayed in Rome. And we three sisters, Angela, Suana, and myself, we went to meet beauties for sightseeing all over Italy. It was a very welcome change for us after a very hectic to dance to. After returning, we performed in Rome. Actually, I think this was very rare occasion that we four of us together traveled and performed and it was uh, unique, it was, uh, I think, a sight to watch four of us on the stage and we got very good appreciation and comments for our programs all over. We four of us got together. It was like our four sisters, like friends, we used to get together very nicely and Sometimes the solo dancers also used to envy us, saying that you are so fortunate that you are always together, helping each other, and it's a secure feeling also. I cherish still those moments, those programs, those days, those tours with all of us before together. It's amazing how you have uh, taken forward the form and you have been traveling from uh, Mumbai, going to Calcutta, going to Imphal. You've stayed for many months there. You've spent a lot of time with uh, Guruji there. And you have single-handedly taken this forward for a very long time now. What are the challenges? From 1972, when Guruji decided to shift all our activities from Bombay to Kolkata and Manipur. I was continuously with Guruji and Kalavati Devi in Kolkata to establish Manipur. Nartanale there and it was really a great task for the institution. I had to collect funds 
donations and other activities of course of teaching and performances arranging tours and other research work i was helping guruji in teaching and choreographing also and uh, all other organizational work i had to look up i was also going with guruji to manipur and again there the same work to establish manipuri nartanala in manipur and there also collecting funds donations advertisements preparing the girls there for the programs performances and also teaching them to become teachers in manipur it was a great challenge for us because we were meeting discussing with different gurus artists and scholars so we and myself used to explain to them our approach our um, attitude towards manipuri dancing as in manipur ras leela and sankirtan are performing the temple courtyards for it to canvas and our work our purpose was to bring the classical and traditional dances of manipur from the temples to the theater without polluting its original form and spirit and for this work for bringing this dances from the temples which were going on for eight hours to the theater keeping in mind the demands of the theater that is the duration where it to 10 hours here on the stage for 2 hours then in relation to choreography in temples the uh, dancers they dance in a circular formation here on the proscenium stage we had to dance in the uh, proscenium uh, stage so the compositions were also slick and each composition had uh, that uh, variety the richness of the uh, body movements and the rhythm patterns because the compositions should be very slick and composite in the theater so it's uh, the presentation also in duets in solos in groups used to perform and audience wise also because in manipur in the temples the uh, devotion people they they are in the audience and here in the theater the people uh, it's a sort of secular audience and, uh, and the audience um, we have to create that aesthetic experience to uh, through the dancers the perfection and the uh, high artistic level of the dancers so all these demands were there and guruji composed choreographed dances having the technicalities subtleties and complexities of classical manipuri dancing as our items were all based on the classical elements having root in the tradition of ras leela and sankirtan as a leader of the group since 1975 I used to manage and arrange on the dance tours on the India and foreign countries, and used to manage all the activities of Manipuri Nartanala in Calcutta and in Manipur. In 1990, I shifted to Bombay, and since then, I used to, of course. Um, take part in all the tours and everything where we used to call artists from manipur and calcutta and bombay and my uh, elder sister ranjana she used to take part in different programs even when i was in calcutta before that uh, my family members my other sisters and brothers in law 
and my parents were very supportive and they used to guide me also so that that strength was there in me to work day and night for the uh, activities of uh, institution manipuri kartanaya and for guruji to bring and popularize and propagate the gharana of guru say they in i used to collaborate guruji in all his research work we collected the oral tradition and that responsibility was also on me we had collected about uh, recorded about 150 hours of the uh, music the rhythm compositions and songs of ras leela and sankirtan from innumerable gurus then i was also responsible for um, the four projects of for foundation granting aid we received for audio and video of all the uh, dances of the course six years course devised by guru bikram singh and different compositions of guru ji that was one project the micro filming of uh, the manuscripts on ras leela and talas then uh, research work of ras leela songs and publications of the books i was continuously helping guruji for publication of 18 books through manipuri natnala and it was a full time activity i feel fortunate that i have been able to devote myself completely for the preservation perpetuation and propagation of classical art of manipur oh yes it is a mammoth job and uh, you're not just uh, a performing artist because you have your interests lying in every place and it is amazing i don't know how you manage all this because uh, you have been taking care of the traveling you've been taking care of the costumes you've been taking care of the rehearsals the training bringing dancers together taking them for performances everywhere dasha ji what about your wish list is there something that you would like to accomplish is there something that you've been dreaming about wanting to do uh, specially for the classical manipuri dance form is there something that you have in mind and you're looking forward to do yes my strong wish is to continue grana of guru bhajan singh my teaching whatever i have acquired knowledge by teaching the other students as well as to write and publish books on theory for the examination for all the other manipuri dance students in english which is very much necessary at present my wish is to acquire funds to digitalize the 150 hours of the oral tradition of the rhythm compositions and rasleela songs of manipur which is very valuable very rare and which is not in vogue hence i really feel that if i get the funds for this which i have tried with the uh, government or the bombing or in manipur manipur government so that i can leave this rich treasure of manipur for progeny for the future young students at present i am teaching online course the rhythm patterns the tal systems the 
dance composition of Guru Vipin Singh to the students, those who are really interested in learning, so that Guruji's whatever he has left, his valuable compositions after vast knowledge of tradition of Ras and Sankirtan of Manipur, in-depth study of engineering texts and Vaishnavite Sangeet Shastras and his creative ability and his aesthetic sensibility and scientific attitude. I really feel fortunate to have been able to do this work and I pray to not go with me to give me that strength to finish my ambition. I think this idea of yours of, uh, you know, uh, archiving all this music, the, uh, the, the amount of stock that you have with you to archive them and keep it for the present generation, also for the generation to come. It's going to be an amazing thing. And I hope, I hope that uh, people see this uh, interview, in fact, and come forward to help you with this mammoth uh, th idea that you have. It's, it's a very beautiful thing. And uh, of course, if uh, somebody like you doesn't do it, who will then preserve all that music, all that material that you have uh, on Manipuri dance? So I really wish that somebody comes forward and they help you out financially so that you can make this dream come true. Thank you very much, Darshana Ji. Thank you very much. And I'm so happy. You have never said no to me. I mean, at every time, whenever I have contacted you, uh, whether it was for a message or whether it was to invite you as a guest, you have always been very supportive and encouraging. Thank you very much for that and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful new year and I hope that the years to come will be so creative that you will be able to fulfill all your dreams and ambitions, especially that of creating an archive of all the wonderful stock music that you have. Thank you very much Darshanaji for giving me this time. Thank you. On behalf of JG College of Performing Arts and Pradibib, I thank you. Kandarpa Prati Akshep
Even against your relatives, your relatives, your relatives, even against your relatives, <coughs> 